What's up, everybody? Prophet here with another episode of Magic Duels. We're gonna we're gonna go red. I did yeah, a few tweaks here and there with um, with some expansions. Uh, you know that they they messed up a bunch of my a bunch of my damn cards with this uh, new update. So well, it's not really new anymore. It's been out like a few weeks, hasn't it? But um, I tried to fix it up. I tried. Uh, I, I I actually think that mono red uh red deck wins is actually has the potential to be better than before believe it or not as ridiculous as that sounds i feel like it's actually gotten more aggressive uh which seems impossible but yeah i think i think it's legit actually mm. i don't know we'll see uh well not like this not not like well god damn and I'm not even on. I'm not even on the play. <laughs> I'll just, oof, oof. All right. Well, uh, at least they're starting slow. All right. Oh my God. Of course. Of course. More lands. Why not? You know, I already had four lands. Uh, I think I'll just play out two, and then I'll save the rest in case I get that enchantment that lets me uh, turn my lands into shocks. So I mean, they're not. Like, this isn't the worst news, as long as I get a card. Of course, now he's playing green, so, uh, you know he's got, like, enchantment destruction or something. <laughs> uh, he has a play. He's... He may or may not play it. He has at least one play. Maybe he's deciding between plays or whether or not he even wants to play it. He has chosen not to play it. Which sucks. Exquisite Firecraft is super good. Uh, definitely Howl the Full Moon. This is one of the reasons I kept this this hand. And we will swing in, and we will hopefully do at least eight damage to this guy. I'm hoping. I'm hoping a little more than that, but you know, you can't get too careful. <laughs> you don't know. You just don't know. He could land, and then you know, creature, creature, or creature spell, or something. Who knows? Who knows what he can do? I don't. I just don't know. Um, Oath of Chandra, that destroys my 4-3, uh, so that's only one damage to his face. And I'm out of creatures. <laughs> so I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe Super Friends, or... Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm because you don't really want that card unless it's some kind of like burn or something. Um, or if you have a lot of Planeswalkers. Now, this is only to player, right? God, please say it's to player. Uh, beginning of each end, uh, damage under control deals... Yeah, yeah, e e two damage to each opponent. Okay, good. So he can't target that and just, like, continually pop my creatures. Just just making sure. I mean, I vaguely remember that how that card works. Okay, he's got a free mana. So he's got four mana floating right now. He chose red. And he's gonna do something with it, maybe. Brantlebart. Yeah, this is probably Super Friends. I'm I'm definitely guessing Super Friends. Uh, the green, he almost definitely is running um, Oath of Nyssa, so he can just shit out like infinity. Um, yeah, that, that's definitely getting exquisite firecrafted. It's no no question in my head. Um, and I'm gonna do that pre-com, so I actually have a three three swinging in rather than a two two. Oh, boy. I'm not going to be playing my mountains anymore because the most expensive thing in my deck is a two co uh, three cost. Okay. I wonder what's going on here. Uh, all right. I'm fine. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> um... I mean, I guess I could put down mountains, but I, I'm going to burn out. Like, I'm going to throw down these dragon fodder. Uh, suppression bonds super sucks, actually. Super duper sucks. I have no way to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, God. <laughs> it's such a bad matchup for me. Oh, of course Call comes down. And you know the worst part? We have to wait for this damn trigger to finish on this guy every time I, sp I cast something. And it's just going to be useless. So hopefully he doesn't have any board wipes, although I know he's running that Chandra Planeswalker, which, like, can minus X, deal one deal X damage to every creature. Oh, that's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. 
best news so far is that he only has uh, three cards in hand. He's got probably all the mana he needs, though. Um, if he does have that Chandra Planeswalker, I believe she's seven, so he needs one more land. Uh, I mean, I got, guys, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little worried about this matchup. Um, I will be calling the full... Ooh, ooh, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. Do I twin bolt that? Of course, another land. Why not? This... <laughs> <laughs> this is almost half the lands in my deck already. Um, okay, I feel like Hall is the better play here. Um, I think I, I don't know. I could I could still land in Twin Bolt if I was really crazy about it, which actually I might do. Uh, oh no no! All right, I won't I won't I won't worry about it then. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, good. Okay, he took care of that for me. Jesus. I was actually worried about that thing. Getting drained one, one a turn. Any life gain is really bad for this deck. And uh, him letting that just die is fine. I'm, oh, but wait a minute. If he had that, how come he didn't just... All right, he must have just top decked that because why would he... Well, then, I, all right. No, I, I, I think I understand. He, ha he must have had that, and now I'm all fucked. He must have had that and realized that his... Because uh, he could have still drained for one. Like, on his turn, he would have still gained a life had he not. But then again, it would have been an extra two damage. So in this way, he's, like, gaining two life. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm wrong. This guy totally played correctly. Now he's tutoring for a Planeswalker. Great. <laughs> Gee, yup, yup, of course. Of course. He doesn't have the mana for her, though. Not yet. No mana. Uh, I'm just going to take care of this right now. Don't want to deal with that. <clears throat> Please don't be a land. Well, uh, guys, this is how you lose. <laughs> you <ch> <laughs> um, I have 16 lands in my hand. Uh, I drew almost half of it. Uh, not quite. Um, I need uh, one more land, and then it's entirely half of my lands. And, of course, she comes down, and this is just where I lose. Because I'm going to take 6 damage a turn here. Oh, God. Getting land flooded, guys. On on a deck like this is just the worst combo. Actually, I'm taking eight because the Planeswalker came down and Oath of Chandra is going to smack me for an additional two. Wow. So, yeah, I'm at ten. So, I'm, like, probably dead next turn. Probably. I mean, what, what can I possibly draw in this situation? Look, I'm going to play a land. I'm going to play a land so I can cast two two drops. So, like, if I get a three drop and a two drop, then I'll be able to do all that. Um, if I get Exquisite Firecraft, I can take care of Chandra next turn, I mean. Um, so I had to drop a land for that. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> like, this is it for me, man. He, he's got the Planeswalker of the Century. That card is like $30 now, just letting you know, Chandra, because she's just ridiculous. Can can we just go over this card? I mean, I know most of you know what this does. This For nothing, discard your hand and draw that many cards plus one. So this is essentially a card draw, just straight card draw. This one pretty much reads, deal six damage. And this one says, wipe the board. Okay? <laughs> this This is ridiculous goddamn uh, and there it is half my lands <laughs> all right you guys well that's game <laughs> that's just the worst combo of garbage i have ever seen <laughs> sometimes that happens man nothing you could do about that uh all right i'm i mean i'm a little upset but i understand that that's part of the game i'm not like mad at the game i'm just like I feel like I could be Super Friends. Planeswalkers are so OP, all right? They're just ridiculously OP. The best way to get them is to beat the shit out of your... What is this? Come on. Are you serious? All right, he mulligan. I want to mulligan, too. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, this is one of the ads that I put in. Not sure about him. I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm going to throw him in there first before Goblin Arsonist. 
Next turn, I'm going to call the full moon him. And if he somehow manages to kill it, I can always sack him and then, I don't know, dump either Goblin Arsonist or Dragon Potter. Probably Goblin Arsonist. Okay, so far so good. He's just playing blue. Probably white blue. Uh, probably white blue equipment. But that's just my guess. I don't really know. Get in there for four. Start this gravy train. Uh, once we get another mana, we're going to blast him for an additional four in his face. Uh, if my 4-3 is ever threatened, I can instant speed uh, destroy her. And uh, pretty much loot. Just discard a card, then draw a card. Which seems good to me. Uh, I'll probably play another Goblin Arsonist. Probably... Lied. Nope, I lied. I'm gonna do this. Boosh. Um, actually, that's really good to see. I'm gonna definitely take that. Those are pretty good two drops. And uh, yeah, I'll Goblin Arsonist right now. Oh no, that's two creatures! God damn it! God damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Ugh, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. I'm so out of practice, you guys. I just ruined everything. I ruined everything! <laughs> oh, God, I could have hit him for six. Oh, so bad. So bad. Expose evil. What the fuck? Oh, all right, so I wasn't going to hit him for anything anyway. Because he was just going to tap my bros down. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> that actually makes me feel a lot better. Okay. Next turn... Next turn, if I get the land, it's going to be Exquisite Firecraft. If I don't get the land, I guess it doesn't matter. Probably Dragon Fodder, just to get the most out of this. Uh, I think he's dead next turn. Yeah, so it'll actually be Goblin Arsonist plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he's not dead. He's not dead yet. Um, we'll swing in here. He did Telling Time, so if he has a board wipe, I might have to worry about that. So, instead of playing Ember Hauler, I'm going to play Goblin Arsonist, just in case he has a way to deal with my board. Because then I'll have the uh, one mana for the Ember Hauler that's on the field, and then I can shoot him for two, and then my two other Goblin Arsonists will hit him for another two. And that's uh, four damage, he'll be down to one, and then I can just Ember Hauler or Exquisite Firecraft for the win. Seems good. And I'll also flip, and I'll also use my, uh, the ability... Okay, that's not a board wipe, so I'm still probably okay. Probably. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Definitely going to swing on in there. Hey! There it is. Um, okay. So he's dead, like, no matter what. Yeah, there's there's no way out of there. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Because no matter what he does, there's my exquisite firecraft. Boom! Right to the kicker. Wow. He, okay. He wants it to take two. <laughs> no, he decided against that. Okay, that's a better idea. <laughs> All right, dude. Because I could shoot them both. I could actually kill his 1-3 uh, haste, uh, artifact haste. But uh, whatever. Uh, I still can, and there's no way for me to even him, so I might as well just take out his creature. And yeah, he's gone. Leave game. He's dead anyway. There was no, his, he was dead in so many different ways. I love it when that happens. Like, there's multiple ways to kill them, and you just have to have to choose. Like, hmm, how do I want to do this? Who knows? Who cares? This is fun times. Um, let's do it again. That was fun. That was good. Okay, I'm getting back into it. Let's let's see what we can do here, guys. Um, I have a confession, by the way. I feel really bad about this. So yesterday. I got super drunk, and we got pizza. It was a pesto double cheese pizza uh, with, like, chicken and olives. I don't normally like olives, but the olives were pretty good in this one. And I am lactose intolerant. And this morning, my wife um, had a conversation with me. Uh, I am... I, well, look, short story shorter, I am not allowed uh, pizza anymore, which kind of hurts my feelings a lot. 
I feel like she doesn't respect me. <laughs> nah, I mean, I mean, it's not true. She does, but there's um, there, there's I, I understand her position. Uh, I also smelled the ba the bedroom uh, this morning, and it it, it was uh, it it burned our throats. It it when when they're so bad that they burn your throats. I think you need a lifestyle change, you guys. I think you have to really reconsider um, the, the path that your life is going. I feel kind of bad. <clears throat> but uh, it doesn't matter. Actually, I could have tightened strength there, couldn't I? Shit, I should have. Uh, well, I really like Molten Vortex, so I'm dropping him instead. I still could have tightened strength. I don't know why I didn't. I will not be destroying uh, this mountain. I do want three lands out. I mean, I guess I don't. If there's, like, an emergency, I guess I could do it. Uh, that cannot block my 2-2 Menacer, so I am definitely Titan Strengthening him. You can't block that shit, bro. I'm sorry. And Titan Strength. And actually, I'm okay with pretty much anything. Even a land on top? Uh, actually, yeah, a land on top seems fine to me. That means I can play this mountain and have Twin Bolt out. Uh, no, you can't do that. No, no, read the card. It's Menace. You can't do that, sorry. Actually, I'm probably just going to drop Ember Hauler. Do I want Ember Hauler? Or do I want to leave open the Twin Bolt? I'm going to Ember Hauler. Screw it. Twin Bolt. Twin Bolt's so versatile. I'll just hang on to that forever. So we're up against, I guess, Mono Red also? What? That's kind of weird. Oh, this is fantastic. Like, this, this is the... I Like, no matter what, I'm getting in for two here. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Sure, man. Like, all right. I'm getting in for two. Like, no matter what, I'm getting in for two. You can either double block my two-two for no damage, or you can block my other two-two and not the other two-two. Like, no matter what, this is good. And believe it or not, I can kill that thing. But it's kind of a two-for-one, and it's really awkward to do that. Really awkward to do that. I guess it's not really a two for one. Ugh, I just showed it to him. Ah, forget it. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. I don't know. I did, did, did. Inferno Fist, damn it. God damn it. Gee, I wonder where this is going. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. <clears throat> Huh. All right. Well, look. Let's just get in there. Let's just get in there. Fine. I can handle it. I'm a big boy. Boop, boop. Fine. Whatever. Uh. One, two. Also, one, two. Discard that one. Who cares? So now it's up to him if he wants to waste his Inferno Fist or not. Um, he decided not to. That's fine. Okay, whatever. Um, all right, all right. Because, yeah, his other guy could still block my uh, my 2-2. Two -two. I was kind of hoping that he would misplay and, and crack his Inferno Fist to kill my uh, Ember Hauler. And then my Menace Dude will st stick around. But that, obviously, is a misplay. You do not want to do that. <laughs> that would be bad. Hey, check it out. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, Scooby-Doo. Uh, crack in there for two, and then I will pop this mountain, actually. Just to get rid of this guy, so I can get in there for... Uh oh Titan Strength. That's not good to see. Shit. Shit. Four, five, seven. Ah, fuck, I'm dead. All right, uh... Well, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> uh, at least I can... I'll hit him for two, I guess. Damn. Infinite walls. Mono red walls. That's what he's playing. So what's the damage I can do? I can do four damage to him, take him down to four, then I'll have a couple dragon fodders. Uh, I guess dragon fodder next turn get in there <laughs> fucking four times and then and then finish him off with a twin bolt and mountain 
I mean, the good news is that these mountains are, are getting pretty close to lethal. Uh, so is the Twin Bolt. Oh, he just got his fourth mana, or land, so maybe he's got something for me. He did have a play, he just chose not to play it. That's kind of weird. Uh, this seems good. I'm going to Dragon Fodder instead right now. Because uh, I have six damage in hand. So if I get in twice with my 1-1s... One I mean, I'm at the point where almost any... Or I can draw pretty much anything, and it's a good thing, you know? Like, I, I'm tr I'm thinking of cards that would be bad for me. That's bad for me. That that there is bad for me. Uh, Arsonist is legit. I like that, too. Hmm. Arsonist is good. I got double chump blockers for that 4-5, if I even want to. I, I probably won't uh, won't block that. Let's see. What does it do again? Uh, if another... Yeah, he has trample anyway. If another red source uh, deals damage to a permanent or player, it deals plus one damage. Uh, so it'll hit me for five. Five trample damage, essentially. I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. That's a problem. Now, now he's like, I, he's been holding on to this bullshit, man. I don't know what the hell he's been thinking. <laughs> I think I'm going to save everything for his face just because he's so close to death already. Uh, that's what, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight damage right there. That sounds great. So Ember Hauler comes down now, and I'm not actually going to do anything else. I'm just going to sit here. <clears throat> Uh, end of turn, I'm going to crack that Ember Hauler into his butt. And then... I guess I guess I have him dead in neck, uh, in two turns. It's kind of rough for me. Yeah, he's So he is some kind of red deck thing, but he's a little... He's really slow, though. Maybe he was just holding on to cards. I feel like he was just playing this badly. Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, so what, has Menace, so I could double block... So this is going to do 7 damage to me. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll double block. I'll do it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done it with the... Uh, he's dealing 1 damage to that guy. Oh, to my other dude. Okay. That's... I'm okay with that also. I should have blocked with my 2-2 because I'm going to crack him at the end of turn anyway. That's so obvious. Oh, well. Yup. I think he knows what's coming up. So, uh, if I get a land, I'd be pretty happy. If I get a... Uh, that's not so good. So what can I do? I can do one, two, three, four, get him to one. What am I taking next turn? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage. That seems like a lot, you guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Ugh. That seems like a lot. Hmm. So what can I do? What else can I do? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is kind of weird. But I'm going to do this. He's dead next turn anyway. This way I just take a little less damage. And he's down to one card. He's down to one card. I think... Uh, two cards now. I, I think he, I'm okay. He can do, what, 12 damage to me right now? Uh, minimum... And he did draw land. And that's not lethal. Alright. Fantastic. I think we got this, you guys. And then as soon as I untap, I just hit him again. Alright. Excellent. Well done, man. You almost, I guess. I mean, I guess. I don't know. It seems like a, a really weird red deck wins. Like, he, he just put, like, the high end. Okay. That doesn't... 
Okay. Yeah, he showed me. Oh, I guess he's just showing me what he has. That's fine. That's fine, too. <clears throat> All right, really cool. Interesting. All right, that's uh, that's my three games. Uh, wow, look at that face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not... God. That face. Man. I'm sorry, you guys. I know I keep laughing every time I see it. It's just... <laughs> She's so ridiculous looking. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh, inexorable blob. <clears throat> uh, delay oh, isn't this the uh, the the Tarmogoyf uh, thing that people were talking about? Uh, no, no, it isn't. Uh, put a three-three ooze onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. So uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, I can definitely make that happen. Uh, deals damage to itself. For four, though? Jesus, that's really expensive for removal. Uh, double Strike. Double Strike is amazing. I love Double Strike. That's probably my favorite evergreen mechanic. Uh, Intrepid Provisioner. Uh, human. Alright, so humans are a thing, just like in the Pro Tour. That makes sense. Uh, Throttle is just the worst card imaginable. Listen, there is a card for two black does the exact same thing, okay? <laughs> what the hell is it called? Uh, something Grasp grasp of Darkness, I think. Look it up. Grasp of Darkness. It's just one black and another black. Target creature gets minus four, minus four on the turn. It is an instant. What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, just what the fuck is this? Oh, God. People are so pissed at that card. Uh, return creature to its owner's hand. Madness one. So if I wanted to make a Madness deck... Uh, honestly, it'd probably be red, red, black, but whatever. All right, so I'm I'm cool with that. Booster number two. <clears throat> Another one of those uh, stupid horse things. Oh, brain in the jar. So this is the shitty uh, aether vial. It's not actually shitty. It's like the the fixed aether vial. Makes sense. I'm I'm okay with it. Um. Wow, that's a lot of words. Activate this ability if there, if you have delirium. Okay, so sacrifice a creature. And then this creature gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. So there are so many black creatures that do this, and you don't need delirium. I don't, I mean, I guess that they're not three, three flyers for five, though. Eh. Eh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. This, this one's kind of up in the air for me. You can probably build around it. Uh, flash creatures are usually pretty good. Four, three for flash seems totally fair. Uh, and you can discard a land and put a 2-2 two -two wolf. Alright, so that can be in a, a landfall deck if I wanted it to be. Actually, that seems perfect for a landfall deck. Yeah, for, so for 4 and at instant speed, you can get 6 power on the board. And you need to dump a land, which shouldn't be too hard with that slab hammer. That seems great. So, equestrian skill again, 3-3. Three, three. If, it, if it's human, yeah, but it's fucking 4. Quilled wolf gets 4-4 four, four until end of turn. Um, so it's a bear that can pump itself late game, which is actually really good. Like, that's actually a pretty solid card. This isn't, like, ridiculous. It's just, like, a very, you know, good, normal card. I'm not, I'm not hating that. Puncturing Light, uh, yeah, not, th there are, there are better effects of this. Uh, Power 3 or less is kind of meh. I'm not a fan, but this is still removal, and you should play removal, you know? Sometimes you gotta play removal. All right, last pack of the day. What do we get? Come on, come on, come on, bitch, show me. God damn you, bitch. Oh, hey. Elusive Tormentor, discard a card and then transform it. So it's just like, whenever you want. You can have a hexproof, indestructible, oh, right, this guy. Pay three if you do transform it again. Um. Ugh. I'm actually not a fan of this card. I know some people kind of like it because it's a madness enabler pretty much whenever you want it it's a 4 4 4 4 so that's pretty good uh and it enables a madness pretty much at any time uh the problem is the hexproof indestructible so you can make it unstoppable but you have to do some goofy things to make that happen uh plus the time when this triggers during combat is <sighs> It's kind of wonky. I, I'm not the biggest fan. 
Uh, counter target spell for three. That seems just awful, but and the madness is worse, and this is just a shit card. Although people will play it and be successful with it. Olivia's Blood Sworn. She can't block. Vampire gains haste until end of turn. All right, that's just. All right. <laughs> Don't really care about that. Solitary Hunter. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn. Transform him to a five six. Werewolves seem pretty cool. Uh, whoops. Oh, oh well. Fuck it. Fuck the rest of them. <laughs> uh, I'm into werewolves. I kind of want to make it like a werewolf deck maybe when I get a few more a uh, few more cards. I don't know. All right, guys. Uh, I'll I'll put this one together. Uh, you'll see it tonight, and I'll see you next time. I probably won't see you. I'm on the internet. Goodbye. We'll